What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today is going to be I guess more of an update type video. First of all, here is uh, one of the main updates. We now have a TV <laughs> in the garage. Now I know some of you might say something that it's a TCL or whatever the case is, but for me being downstairs, I don't know about the climate and uh, about the humidity and everything that this garage experiences. So I really didn't want to get some kind of like crazy expensive TV until I found out and to be honest with you, I got a nice 43 inch Roku TV here. Uh, the picture quality is great. The sound is pretty decent, but that's part of the video today. Um, and uh, I don't know, I only paid like 200 bucks for this thing. So it was pretty awesome. Now how is this mounted? This bad boy is with a generic little uh, wall mount. What we did, me and a pal of mine. We drilled four holes into the concrete and put toggle bolts in that bad boy and it's been holding pretty awesome. So one of the things about the TV, like I said, it's not the most amazing um, sound. So I ended up also purchasing a JBL Extreme 2. Now for the real, 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 real OGs of my Instagram and my YouTube, you'll see this and remember this, this is my Charge 3. Uh, before I had fixed my speakers and put a touchscreen in the Tahoe, this is what I had on my dashboard. Um, substantial size difference, substantial sound difference also. So what I've been doing for the last, I don't know, maybe week or two weeks or so, I've been using this and, and I've just had a 3.5 to 3.5 connection going, let me turn this, going from here to the speaker, uh, there's no Bluetooth on this TV, that's, you know, the downfall of a cheaper TV, but that's been the case, uh, what I did notice was online, people were saying, you know, you can do RCA to 3.5, so I ordered it without looking, and came to realize very quickly, I didn't have a, a traditional RCA set up with the two, two to three cables, so you know this was already on order then I did a little bit more researching and I seen audio out optical audio out over here so I'm gonna try this I'm not sure if it's gonna work at all but this is a digital to analog audio converter um, for optical audio so apparently what this is gonna allow me to have and allow me to do hopefully hopefully is go from optical audio to this converter box which is connected to power and then go to RCA to 3.5 so hopefully it sounds good um, not that this sounded horrible this sounded good but the problem is it doesn't seem like it's a um, reliable connection for some reason it was cutting out here and there I don't know but we're gonna try this out and uh, then we'll talk real quick about a couple little updates and that'll be the end of the video uh, I wasn't really gonna film much more of these but honestly <laughs> I've got a lot coming up in the next two weeks um, I will be making videos on there are updates also coming for the uh, Trackhawk I will be making videos on that as well there's just a lot of life-changing things happening um, outside of the fact that we're going through a pandemic as a country so there's all that and then there's more so it's just been very difficult to keep up with just car content and and whatnot and you know I figured you know my views are down all across the board anyway because you know if it's not about detailing and and my pressure washers and foam or my Hellcat that I don't even own anymore then nobody really gives a damn so I might as well just put out whatever content to you know be whatever I want this channel to be um, it's never really been a vehicle specific channel it's mostly supposed to be about me my journey uh, my modding preference and and how I want to set up a vehicle and I guess in general the garage and and my life so I feel like I'm gonna start adding my life more in depth I, I keep saying I want to try to do that I, I did do some vlogs during the pandemic a little bit and then work started to pick back up so that fizzled out a little bit but you know I feel like some of the people and the message I was getting on my Instagram people were you know very happy about those videos even though the views didn't really show it but you know if I can get to at least a couple hundred to a couple thousand people in each video I'm happy uh, I, like I said I don't do this for monetary gain um, this is actually more work than the money is worth it but 
you know, meeting people, talking to people, and having fun with people. That's why this is a thing. That's why this exists. So we're just going to film whatever. And whatever comes of it, comes of it. Because I have a feeling, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's going to be some big changes to this channel. Look at this. Is that a piece of freaking hair? Fuzz. Son of a... Brooklyn Bridge. That's what my mom used to say. Oh, funny thing too, real quick. When I first got this TV, I cleaned it with some like LCD cleaner. It wasn't whoosh that everybody says on, you know, whatever, uh, Amazon and stuff. I had an LCD cleaner from Best Buy for once upon a time. It probably was horribly outdated and stuff, but it left like a film machine. I, I cleaned it with like a slightly damp rag and dried it off and the film went away and the glass was clean. It's amazing how much money we spend on extra products to do extra things when simple water with a microfiber did everything. Unbelievable. Anyway, so let's uh, unbox these things. I'm going to hook these back up and then we're going to connect it to the JBL and we're going to see if we can even get any sound. And uh, it could be a fail, it could be a, a total win. Total in price is like 20 bucks for both these combined. So really not much invested at all so let's see so this is what you get when you open this up this is a little uh, coaxial if you wanted to do here and then there should be some kind of yep okay. so I'm just gonna open these things up real quick my uh, thought process is you always try what you think is gonna work and if it doesn't work then you go to instructions so we know that this is gonna be power to this and we know that this thing is gonna get plugged in somehow here. Okay, that connects. Awesome. It's nice. It feels like a thick cable, especially compared to this. It feels thicker. So, that's nice. So this would be... Plug that in. Plug that in. So, this would be technically our unit. And of course it's got to be a USB, which I actually have a USB, so let me see. I'm gonna try to just plug this in. How does this go? Okay. So that gets plugged in. And I guess for this, we're gonna just swing this across for now. I'll probably double tape this to like the bottom somewhere. But just so we can get some kind of power here, um, I'll hook this up to there, okay, and we're going to hook this up, let's turn this on, first of all, we're going to hook this up in here to our little 3.5. Okay, I kind of feel like there's sound going through this. I kind of feel like there's sound going through both, actually. Okay. Hold on. You're not going to know that, but that worked. I just can't play the sound because I'll end up getting some kind of uh, copyright thing here. So, this is cool. Alright, you could have the TV volume. Excuse the light, by the way. Whatever. But... You could have the TV volume going, or you can lower the TV volume completely to zero. And then on here... Ever since that ghost man showed up, Flint Lockwood's been acting. He rejected my steel. No one has ever rejected my steel. That's incredible. That actually works out freaking awesome. Um, the only thing is, I'm obviously, like I said, I'm going to have to find a way to work the wires. So I'm probably going to... Have this wire go all the way down there, attach that box there, maybe get a USB extender so it can tuck down there. And then this cord itself is plenty, plenty, plenty long for what I need because I could just keep this completely. Oh, this is a big boy. I could keep this over here if I wanted out of the way so I still have my whole bench to work on. And uh, yeah, and also, in case you guys didn't notice, I did clean off a lot of stuff here. Once this stuff off the top is done, that then it's done. So the plan for the channel is this is going to be the detailing type bench, obviously, pinned in between detailing products. And this is going to be more uh, mod 
related um, projects, products, and whatever it might be. That's all my fuel. I just actually refilled that. Next time I go, if you want, let me know in the comment section. I will take you guys along and refill that. $180, and what I ended up getting was 12 six gallons. So I think oh, maybe a little bit more than six in some of them. So it was like 74 uh, gallons. 73 74 gallons of gas uh, for some reason in Jersey the price of E85 uh, typical E85 without some kind of discount is like two dollars and eighty cents two dollars and seventy cents sometimes two dollars and sixty cents um, they do give you a discount when you buy in bulk so typically it's like fifty cents off uh, per gallon so what I paid for this uh, was about two dollars and twenty cents two dollars and thirty cents which is really ridiculous because some places are telling me um, a dollar eighty, dollar seventy on other parts of the country from what my uh, followers say. Unbelievable, but I guess we're in an area where, you know, they can they can bump the price because there's really not so much of this around. Uh, I would love to see that happen. <laughs> I would love to see E85 more prevalent in New Jersey, but it's probably not going to happen. It's wishful thinking. Who knows? Uh, it's actually not even E85 at the moment. It's like E80. Uh, which is still decent, but I see some guys posting $1.70, $1.80 per, uh, per gallon, and they're rocking E90. Like, what in the hell? Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's about it. As far as updates go, I do have a lot of mods coming for the Jeep. Stay tuned for that. Um, it's just a matter of time until I can actually get the vehicle dropped off. And like I said, there is some big, big, big news happening. God willing, everything goes well. Uh, I'm nervous. I will make a video about it uh, when I'll be able to start talking about that uh, Not right away. It's a very personal topic So we'll, we'll try to ease it into the channel, but what I do like I said want to do is make this more personal and you know, it's not like car specific it's hey this is OCD you know what I mean like it's even though I don't have OCD like some other people have OCD and it's been pointed out to me in the past I understand some people freak out really crazy and I, I you know empathize with them so I, when my aunt washes her hands c consistently and she has a lot of other ticks that go on um, I have probably mild to moderate maybe more toward mild with certain things when it comes to organization and planning i try to stay uh, on top of stuff but uh, at one point it's just organized chaos like that's organized chaos i know where everything is it's just has to be a certain way for it to work and function but i do like to keep things uh at somewhat some type neat but i'm not going to be like oh my god the two white ones here the two red ones here uh that needs to match there i'm not too crazy with that stuff but i do like a particular thing so that's my version of ocd and I'm honest about that, which is why I'm honestly OCD. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, thank you so much for sticking by. I hope the new content coming will be decent. Uh, I'm not going to be on any schedule. I can't promise a consistent schedule by any means. Um, I will try my best to pump out more than I was. That's all I can say. <laughs> but stick by um i appreciate it. it means a lot thank you so much and i'll talk to you guys soon it's gonna be awesome